Severe weather is likely once again on Tuesday. The difference between tonight and last night, it was a little more isolated in nature in south central Nebraska. I think on Tuesday night we'll see more widespread severe weather, especially along in west of Highway 281. Now let's look at the uh, enhanced risk for the area here. That is three out of five on the threat scale. Large hail, damaging winds, and an isolated tornado or two are possible as we go through the late afternoon into the evening. Now let's look at that outlook for damaging winds as the storms move from west to east, especially passing through that Highway 183 corridor from Elk Creek to Holdridge, I think we'll transition more into a wind threat as the storms move towards Highway 281 and off to the east. Now in terms of hail, I think the greatest hail threat will be along and west of Highway 281, especially in the first couple hours of storm development. And then there is that tornado risk. There's a 5%, which doesn't mean that it's a tornado outbreak, but a tornado or two is possible. And I still think the best chances for that will be in the late afternoon to early evening, well to the west of the Tri-Cities. But again, we need to have our guard up as we go through the evening. Now, here's a look at the hour by hour forecast. This is going to loop through very, very fast. So I'll make sure to loop it a couple times. But again, you won't see the storms forming in this graphic off to the west. It'll be west of Highway 83, west of McCook to North Platte, out by Ogallala and the Panhandle. But storms will move very quickly from the west to the east, moving into the Tri-Cities, I think, between that 7 and 9 p.m. time frame. And then as they trans transition rather off to the east and southeast, that uh, threat for us should begin to diminish after the 10 o'clock to 11 o'clock time frame. I'm meteorologist Tim Jones. You can get all the weather information you need here on my Facebook page, Tim Jones Weather. Of course, on my YouTube channel, Tim the Weather Guy, and NebraskaWeather.tv will have that live feed going up tonight. And I'll be in the field for Weather Nation with my live video that you'll be able to watch here on Facebook. Thanks for watching. We'll have more updates as we go through the day.